I should not be living according to the confines of the flesh. I should be living according to the freedom of the kingdom. So Jesus wasn't teaching us about a religion. He was teaching us about the kingdom. As a matter of fact, Jesus, he, when, he, when he really, when he began to talk, he would go into the churches and the religious leaders, every time they'd say something, he would scorch them. I mean, he, he just really put them out there, embarrassed the pure of them, putting out, and that's why they hated him, but that's all right. He hated religion. He hated it. He absolutely hated it. It is the very thing that has left the church, religion, the very thing that has left the church with a void of the supernatural, okay? We have churched ourselves out of the real supernatural, okay? What he was teaching us was how to live in his kingdom where this, watch this, where the supernatural is natural. Oh, that's good. The supernatural should not be a surprise to us. It should not be foreign to us. It should be second nature to us. All right, let's start by doing this. Let's start by defining what the problem is. Let's define religion. Y'all want to? Watch this. Thank you, Sister Truett. The word religion means to conform to a code of conduct. So I can act right. I can praise right. I can dress right. Some of us can't even get that right. But I can dress right. I can come in and, and I can do what you do. So I can be like you are. I'm religious. Okay? I can walk into your business and I can be there for just a few minutes and watch everybody else and I can act like they act and you'll think I'm a part of your business. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You think I've been here my whole life. What am I doing? I am watching the code of conduct of everybody that's around me because if you are in a business, if you are in an atmosphere for any length of time, y'all all start acting alike. I'm just going to, I didn't, I'm just going to turn around right here. You hate the job. You hate the boss. You hate the business. You hate the company, but you act like them because I want to be paid by them. Woo! Hey, y'all good? Uh-huh. So, this code of conduct to conform, not be transformed, but to conform. I don't want to conform. I want to be transformed. Because if I conform when I get around the next crowd, then I'm going to conform to them. So I can, I, that's when I got all them seven different people all up in me at one time. And I'm just, I got, they all got names and I just conform to wherever I go. But if I'm transformed, when I'm transformed, wherever I go, I am who I am. When I'm transformed, wherever I go, I carry him. Is anybody hearing me? That's the problem. That's why we all struggling. Because we, we have, we have been conformed, but not transformed. Okay. So the thing is, is that religion was exactly what Jesus hated. Why did he hate it? Because religion is forming a code of conduct, but never having your heart changed. 